Hi, in this podcast we're going to demonstrate how to use Comsol Multiphysics by solving a simple mass transfer problem. In this problem we have a ventilation duct that looks like this. We're looking at the ventilation duct from the side. So the inlet is to the left and the outlet downward. And it's 0.4 meters high. Uh, we will ignore how deep it is. Uh, because we're going to treat this as a two-dimensional problem to simplify things. And it starts with a 0.8 meter long straight part and then comes a bend that has an inner radius of 0.4 meters and an outer radius of 0.8 meters. And the fan has broken down so the air is standing still in this ventilation duct but the concentration in the inlet is one mole per cubic meter and the concentration in the outlet is zero mole per cubic meter. And we know that the diffusivity of the substance in air is 1.35 10 to the power minus five square meter per second. When we start Comsol Multiphysics, we are greeted by this window. And here we want to choose model wizard to help us build our model. And next step is to choose how many dimensions and we want to have two dimensions. And then we need to add some physics, some differential equations to solve. And we want to have chemical species transport and transport of diluted species. And we add that physics to our model. It's possible to add more than one physics, but that is more advanced. Next step is to choose what kind of stud we want. And we're going to choose stationary. And then we click done. And then we get to this window. In this window you see a lot of different things. You see things like geometry, transport of diluted species, that's our physics, mesh study and results, and you see some of the things up here as well. So you see a lot of different things, but let's take one thing at a time. So we want to start by drawing this geometry. And you can do that by left clicking on geometry and select something. So let's take a rectangle. And then you simply type in things here, like 0 0.8 meters wide and 0 0.4 meters high. And build selected and then that appears in your window here. And you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can click zoom extents that uh, zooms in so the thing you have drawn exactly fits this window. Time to draw the bend and we zoom out a bit and use these things up here. So we want to go use this one and it should be an inner radius of 0 0.4. And with this quadratic thing you click three times, one and then you go away one, 0 0.4 meters, click once more and then 0 0.4 down and you click. Now. To finish this thing, you have to left click somewhere. And then you get this thing. Uh, this was not so good, right? Because now this part is part of the of the geometry and it should be this part here. So this wasn't good. So let's take away this one. Left click and delete. Yes, delete. So let's go and do it again. Click click and click and then continue with a straight part and that should be 0 0.4 meters let's zoom out a bit so we should go to 1.6 and then we want to have a bend again so up there click and over there click and now we left click so and we can take zoom extents. So now we're ready with our geometry. Now when we have specified the geometry, we can specify details in our physics model. And currently we have three things in our physics model, convection and diffusion, no flux and initial values. And you see two different symbols, one filled symbol and one symbol with a purple line around it. This means that this is applicable to an entire domain. So if you click this, you see two domains here, one and two. And if you click them, the color changes. 
So green means that it, it's selected. So what you write in here is applicable to the entire domain. And the only thing we want to add in here is to specify the diffusivity. 1.35, 10 to the power minus 5 square meter per second. Uh, the no flux condition, well that's a boundary condition and it's applicable to the boundaries. So the default is that there is no flux anywhere. And the initial values we don't have to care about because we have a stationary solution that we're looking for. But we want to specify concentration. So let's left click on this one here. And then we can select different things, different kinds of boundary conditions and concentration is one. And we want to have this left boundary here as such. So we just click and then it appears here as selected and then we can specify the concentration there. And to do the other boundary over here, we need to create a new boundary condition. So left click and concentration, click on that boundary over there and specify the concentration and that should be zero here. Okay, next step is to do the mesh to divide our geometry into smaller parts. And physics controlled mesh sounds good. And elemental size, well, if we take normal, it looks like this. If we click build all, if we take fine, you get smaller. And the more you take, the more accurate, but also the more time it takes. And there, there might also be a limit somewhere where if you add more detail, you don't actually add more accuracy. And now we just click on compute, click on study and then click on compute and then you get the result. So here you see the surface concentration and you can change what is drawn by going in here and say surface plot and you can change the expression here. Currently it's the concentration but you can look into the model here and see what different things you have and for example you can take a velocity field or species C you can take the diffusive flux the magnitude. Well, select that one and then to redraw you click on plot but this you should do yourself so redraw on your computer and try to explain the appearance of the graph when you have redrawn using the total flux magnitude.